926. Thanks so much for being with us on this Wednesday's Live at 9. Research shows the COVID-19 vaccine may be more effective for some people than others, but the good news is that you can do things now to improve your body's reaction to it. And the first step, of course, is knowing where you stand. In this health alert, we're live this morning with Scott Betts from Any Lab Test Now. Scott, good to have you back on the program. What factors might impact my body's reaction to the COVID-19 vaccine? And, and so I assume the test you do identifies those factors in me personally, is that correct? So yeah, there's, there's not a lot of data that says that any sort of deficiencies or, or low levels of vitamins will actually affect the efficacy of the vaccine. But there is some data that says that having a strengthened immune system helps all around. So mm -hmm. even, if, even if you're not you know, worried about getting the vaccine, you always want to have a strong uh, immune system. So as, as they were talking about earlier, you know, vitamin D is very important, and one in every three Americans is actually deficient in vitamin D. So the test actually measures uh, several different minerals and uh, vitamins that can go in your body. So, it, and the vitamin D we referred to earlier in the show from the sun, that's really not usually enough. Is that correct, particularly almost, this time of year? Yeah, it's almost always deficient, and uh, having good levels of all of those vitamins and minerals in your body is uh, key to having a strong immune system. And that's kind of what we're aiming for here. You don't want to be operating in a vacuum. You want to make sure that you give your body all the tools it can use to fight off any infection, be it COVID, the flu, or anything. How long in advance do you generally need, if I find out, for instance, that I'm deficient in some of these vitamins and minerals, how long might it take for me to get up to where I need to be. People need to plan, obviously, if they're not in the, uh, the you know, they're not eligible for the vaccine just yet. And they might have a month. I mean, is do they have time at this point? So I don't actually have a good amount of information about how long it takes to build up these vitamin uh, levels, but I can tell you that the best time to have started would be yesterday and the second <laughs> best time would be today. And this is important, I assume, for any kind of vaccination, uh, for anyone of any age, I would assume. I mean, obviously, COVID-19 vaccines are what's on our mind now, but is this the case with any kind of immunization? Well, like I said, you just want to make sure you have a strong immune system, and, and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily uh, follow that, you know, it'll affect the vaccine. The vaccine is a supercharging of your mm -hmm. uh, body's immune system to tell it what to look for, but this, this, the levels of the uh, vitamins and minerals in your body are what just helps your the strength of your immune system as a whole. Right. So one is training and one and the other one is you know conditioning. But so one of them is right, but obviously if your immune system is stronger, then the the supercharger, as you put it, with the vaccine will only help the situation. What Absolutely. other what other vitamins and minerals does this test? Um, specifically look for that impact the immune system? Well, it'll, it'll check for A, B, and C, and D, and then quite a few other minerals and, um, and all sorts of uh, B12. There's B12, and, and uh, it'll check for the zinc, magnesium, coenzyme Q10. It's quite a, quite a long list. So if you know they want, they can come get that test. So are the, I assume it's a blood test, and how long does it yeah. take to get the results? It takes anywhere from three to four days to get the results back. Um, but part, part of that is because it actually gets sent out to a lab. Gotcha. So when it comes back, we uh, give them the results and it's a nice big uh, pamphlet of information that helps you not only identify where your deficiencies are, but how to rectify the situation. We think a lot about vitamins, but minerals, sometimes they're a little bit different and they're a, a, honestly a little harder to get from food sources. Do you tend to see Americans being more deficient in, in minerals or vitamins, or is, is, are they just deficient in all of it? So I don't have a lot of information about the actual minerals. I do know that in general, the, the vitamins are what the, the medical community tends to focus a little bit more on. Mm -hmm. um, I, from what I understand, uh, um, lot in, lacking certain minerals is actually tends to be less, uh, less likely, but more dangerous. So, uh, but the vitamins are what we're almost always 
you know, they're always looking at. And vitamin D is one of the more important ones. It's, you know, you've got to get out in the sun or you've got to get certain types of fatty fish like salmon or tuna or mackerel, things like that. Right. And you have to eat an awful lot of it to get it just from yeah. food sources. One last quick question. Typically covered by insurance or not the cost of the test? Uh, this particular test isn't covered by insurance usually. Um, so that's why we offer it. Um, we don't take uh, insurance at our particular business, but if your doctor can actually get that for you, you definitely want to look into that. Okay, an ounce of uh, prevention, definitely worth a pound of cure. Thank you so much, Scott.